and you want to know what happened? I do not force the plan on these individuals. You know why? The fact that I cannot put them on the plan, let them know that their life is in jeopardy. And as a result, it's a quick way for them to reform. Am I making sense there? If you force the plan on people who cannot follow a, a set schedule, you prevent them from reforming their life. The fact that someone cannot go on a plan let you know that that person is in serious jeopardy. D does that make sense? Um, because it prevents them from adhering to the laws of health, which means it's going to shorten their life. Okay? Now, if someone chooses to work the night shift, then you just got to maintain that night shift time all the way through. Like if someone's worked from 7 p, 7 p.m. to 7 a.m., and they're Sabbath keepers. You got to keep this in mind. Listen good. Someone working from what? 7P to 7A, and they're Sabbath keepers. This is what I do for them. I don't let them go to sleep when they come home. I keep them up all the way until about 2 in the afternoon, and then I begin their evening hours right there. Do you follow me? The reason being, Otherwise, they'll, they'll, they'll miss Sabbath service every Sabbath. Do, do you understand? If they work the night shift and you, you have them go to sleep right away and they sleep until about 2 o'clock, come Sabbath, they're going to miss Sabbath every Sabbath. And before you know it, they're going to leave the church. So what I do when dealing with those individuals I keep them up until about 2 o'clock to help them to maintain a regular schedule so they can go to church. And then I had them go to sleep right after. Does that make sense to you, Brother Small? So there's a, little, there's a few tricks in terms of dealing with the, the, the sticky schedules and so forth. Also, too, you got to remember, if someone's working that type of shift, like when they come home in their bedroom, the curtains got to be dark. Okay? Because once that light goes through the iris, it's going to reset the bar rhythm, boom, they're, no, they're going to have no need to go to rest, go to sleep. Does that make sense there? So it's important that they have dark curtains in those rooms, especially when they're working these shift work, the, um, the graveyard shift. And also to people who are working graveyard shift, you got to remember this too. On their days off, they need to maintain the same night schedule. That 7 p to 7 a, they do their laundry, they do their cooking, they do their cleaning, they do their grocery shopping. You know, they still got to maintain that schedule. Don't try to act as, as, as both a night creature and a day creature at the same time. You got to make sure you maintain that schedule consistently all the way through. Does that make sense? And then when you have the swing shift workers now, that's the deadliest of all shifts. That one, you cannot put those individuals on a schedule. Um, I, once people said they go swing shift, um, many times I don't even try sometimes because it's difficult. You, you know, you try to get them on a schedule and it's almost impossible sometimes because sometimes they work night shift, sometimes day shift, it, some, sometimes it's virtually impossible. Okay? So, uh, one, the key thing you got to remember don't force a schedule. Don't compromise the schedule. When I'm, when I'm working with someone and I have to put them on a plan, if I can't get them on a schedule, I say, ma'am, sir, tell you what, we're going to skip this. I cannot put you on a schedule. Your life is not conducive to a schedule. And immediately, when they realize they can't go on the program, it makes them think one of two things. Either they continue in their wrong way or they reform. Am I making sense there? So you got to keep that in mind. And, and, and teaching that. And if I'm doing those simple things, I'll tell you, God has blessed tremendously. You'll find too that people who do these shift, um, do the shift work, they tend, they're more likely to have high blood pressure, more likely to have diabetes, and more likely to have weight gain. Okay? Because the body has no rhythm, it can't keep track of nothing at all. Does that make sense, saints? Amen. Let us close. Father, we thank you in Jesus' holy name.